Three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds, though. Three hundred doubloons. You cheeky bastards. Now, this video, guys, is just going to be a PSA, public service announcement, what I think. And a lot of it, it's all my opinion. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, whatnot. But, wow. Wow. Three hundred pounds. God. The Indominus Weekend. It came, it took a shitload of people's money, and then it left again. No surprise to anyone there. This box set was going to sell like hotcakes made completely of cocaine. The good cocaine either. The kind that's not being cut by like rat poison and baby powder. And it's 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 no surprise. I mean, I myself managed to force my way through the GW website at like five to ten to pick up some of the stuff I wanted. Not the box set, I mean, I've got no dock in that fight, but, you know, some of the other goodies that I particularly wanted. So, and that's probably, I'm not the only one who did that. Loads of people have had cases where the GW website or, you know, yeah, it's just been the GW website. It's acted really weird and not worked quite right. So, hey, GW, you make a lot of money, so perhaps make a better website? Just make a more robust website would be nice. But that's neither here nor there. But I kept my eye on the GW website. And within 20 minutes, within 20 actual minutes, this box set, bang, gone. And that story was replicated all over. Third party websites, the American website, gone within 20 minutes. So GW made some bank this weekend. Oh yeah. And just like everyone predicted, just like we all expected, it didn't take very long for the scalpers here on eBay to rear their ugly heads and start showing off this box set for a ridiculous markup, i.e. 300 fucking pounds. Now, they're not the only ones. You know, there are people on eBay right now who are selling half the box set because they only wanted the Space Breeds or they only wanted the Necrons. This isn't directed at you guys. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just trying to recuperate some of your losses from spending basically for two forces when you only wanted one. That's fair enough. This video is really aimed at more at the scalpers and GW a little bit. First off, scalpers, from me to you, a quick fuck you. I think, you know, you're completely within your rights between what you're doing. Completely. I mean, it's a free market. You could buy as many of these as you want and sell for as much as you want. But it doesn't mean we have to like it. And I personally don't like it. So a quick from me to you, go fuck yourself. Uh, and GW, you could do better. It's this whole sort of once it's gone it's gone mentality that you sort of had with this release it's kind of it's kind of a bit shit i mean you know scalping's an issue you know that and you go to great lengths to try and keep reminding us you know this is new gw we're listening to you guys we're interacting with you guys we love the hobby you love the hobby we all love the hobby yeah we know that but to have this sort of Throw it all out there, once it's gone, it's gone, sort of attitude. It's not great. And there have been reports, unconfirmed reports, so, you know, take this with a massive pinch of salt that you've been understocking your third party suppliers just so you can shore up your own stocks so you can make more money. That's that's hearsay at the moment, guys. Would it surprise me if that was the case? No, but that is completely unfounded and uncooperated. I think it was a few websites. Which website? Well, I can't remember which website it was at the moment that came up with that story, but there, there, are, there are rumors of that effect floating around. Again, would it surprise me if they were true? No. Why couldn't this box set have been like a wave release? Like, you knew how popular it was going to be. The lead into ninth edition, brand new sculpts on both sides. It doesn't take a fucking genius to work out how in demand this box set would be. So why couldn't you have gone like, right, Here's wave one, limited release, boom, wave two, same again, and then wave three, and then after wave three, say, right, guys, that's it, just wait a few more weeks for pre-orders, and then you can get the rest of the models. That would have, that would have helped curve this sore scalper problem, because if people would be like, well, I missed wave one, I can just wait for wave two, why would I spend 300 quid buying it from fucking dickhead over here? You know what I mean? It's, it's not just that, I mean... It bugs me that GW, again, they say they're listening to us. And 
it bugs me that obviously with this issue, and it is an issue, 300 quid, that they couldn't come out with a small press release saying, guys, we've done a great weekend. Thank you for all your support. It means a lot to us, you know, to see you, how much you love our products and how much you love the game and what we do here. But, you know, all you got to do is actually show a bit of patience and you'll get these models. Please don't, you know, pay ridiculous amounts of money for it. You know, words to that effect, just a little statement to that effect. Now, I'm under no delusion. GW can do what the fuck they want with their stuff. They can sell it for wherever they want. They can make whatever they want, okay? They can make, they can turn their entire operation to making Space Marine flavoured fucking strawberry dildos. And they can sell them. And I bet some people will buy them. It's completely up to them. Just like I know these scalpers are they're quickly within their rights to buy as many of these boxes as they can get their talons on and then sell them for how much they want. Everyone is completely within their rights doing what they're doing. Doesn't mean it leaves a positive taste in my mouth or a pleasant taste in my mouth rather. It doesn't. And it just depresses me that some people will go out and spend 300 quid on this because they will. People will can do whatever they want with their money. Eh, scalp has always been a problem with this when you've got limited edition releases. I mean... I've got experience with scalpers in the music scene. Obviously, when bands I want to see come along and they say, hey, we're doing a tour, it might be a last ever tour, or, you know, we might just take a too bit too much drugs this time, we all might die, things to that effect. So you never know if this is going to be the last hurrah of this band and you want to see him. So obviously when the tickets inevitably are oh, as hard to find as rocking horse shit, and scalpers say, hey, we've got the tickets, but you're going to pay over the odds for me, you're like, ugh. I hate you for trying to sell this to me for a ridiculous price, but I kind of want to see this band because, it, you know, it might be the last time I ever see this band. FOMO, fear of missing out. You never know if the opportunity is going to arise again. This, however, apart from the book, these models will get put on general release. It's just a little bit of patience, guys. And I suppose at the end of the day, that's what this video boils down to. Nothing constructive, just me whinging my own personal thoughts on it. Guys, please, please, just patience. You, we don't know. GW may turn around and surprise us. They may go, hey, we are doing a second wave after all. I think them doing that and not telling us about it would be another dick move. But I suppose a move, a dick move in the right direction, I suppose. But we don't know. Um, so, yeah. Just from me to you guys. Just, just wait. Don't, Christ almighty, don't spend 300 quid on this. In my opinion, it's not worth it. But hey-ho. Again, you're free to do what you want with your money. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video today. Uh, I will catch you all next time. See you later.